Hi Dave. I have literally just finished work. So I'm grabbing a drink and shit before I actually start. Like I usually do. <laughs> It'll happen. Right, let's get going. I want to get this forest over and done with. I ate it. Yeah, I've been loving Bayonetta too. It plays so much smoother than the first one. Like, the first one feels really like jerky controls wide. And it's a lot more forgiving with the combos and stuff in the second. Yeah, so we were here. Do not like. Write this down. Time to find like fight for marine snakes. Boom, boom. So yeah, everything here has snakes on it, or it's made of balls of snakes, or acts like a snake, and they're all horrible. Hi Bor, hi Manu. How are you both doing today? Yeah, snakes everywhere. Like this, it's a ball of snakes. How are you enjoying your birthday, Bart? <laughs> yeah, this is the, the one part of Bloodborne I really dislike. And it's not because of the enemies or anything, like, the enemies aren't terrible. It's the layout of this area is just one big maze. And I always get lost in. It's 
Once I find the boss room, I know whereabouts. I'll be evil. I wish I had a map. Even then I am terrible at reading maps. <laughs> There's items down there, so. And there. Go in. There is big ball of snakes. Oh yeah, I forgot. They spit poison. Because. This is the area I'm going to get stuck in, if anywhere, just because I'll be getting lost and shit. But I can hear more snakes nearby, I just can't see them. Oh, there. I wonder. Ah! How few is it? Oh my god, just... Ah, oh, he's not dead. Oh, I killed him. Excellent. I know there's a pig near where I need to go. So I'm just gonna keep an eye out for that. They do look pretty cool, they're just really annoying. <laughs> Lots of loot in here though. Right, what's over this way? We got a lantern, I'm guessing a lantern is the right way to go. This, this is just an item. down this way then. Got more balls of snakes. Thank you. 
tripping the ground still. Um, I do have one. Cool. I wanted to make sure I had the bone blade with me. Because there's like a specific place that that's really useful. Is this the right direction? It looks like it. Yeah, it is. The boss is that way. Right, I know how to find my way to the boss then. That little gate there leads to the boss. So, got exploring the rest. Got plenty of healing. And I got some fire papers. So we can just go finding things. I hear Piggy. Come up here. And here comes Piggy. Ah, Cassie. I got trapped in the worst place. <laughs> it pushed me all the way up to the ball of snakes. At least I know where I'm going now. Vaguely. So if I keep to the right hand side. Yeah, keep to the right hand side. And look for the big gravestone with the ball of snakes next to it. And that's where the drop, drop down is. So. Pull the lever. This item, the uh, Shaman Bone Blade, if you stab an enemy with it, it becomes an ally for a short amount of time. And there's a specific boss fight ahead that it's really useful with, if I can land it. Go this way. Oh, I forgot you were here. Now. Just let me parry you already. There we go. And I got three blood vials back in, anyway, so. See, look. Already found an item I didn't realize was there. My man's not there. More twin bloodstone shards. Sneaky ball on my right foot. I can't. Sorry. So down there is death. 
and then we start heading. Yeah, this is the path there before, wasn't it? Maybe? No? I am lost again already. Yeah, the snake balls in this are based off like a a folklore creature that doesn't really exist. There's like a whole folklore around snakes and rats as well, apparently. Saying that when they're little, they can get like tangled together in the nest by their tails. And they grow up like tangled together and you end up with like a snake ball or if it's rats they call it a rat king but all the ones ever found have been found to be fakes like somebody tied a bunch of dead rats together or something like that it's like a folklore thing People would play and like, oh yeah, there's like an actual rat king, I've seen it, and some dude caught one. And it wasn't, it was like a, a show thing. And yeah, they're, they just tie dead rats together. There he is. Time for the best backstab in the game. Oh, that did right, so the boss is down that way. So we're going this way. So, more snake balls. I'm sure there's a specific other kind of enemy that's meant to show up around here. But there's a snake man. We'll just leave you. I really like nuts. Someone is going to clip it. Hi, Sherry. What are you doing? Is this the right area? More snake balls, another big snake. I've gone back the way I came. So I need to go this way. Smelter Demon. Smelter Demon's a fun one. Lots of people get stuck in him. Yeah, Smelter Demon has one big weakness is that he's a, a pure hunk of armour so if you get a strike weapon if you're using a mace or something like that it ruins him I'm not at shadows yet <coughs> um, I found the the way to them I am just doing a bit of exploring beforehand because there's other important stuff I can get around here. Which is this direction because the fireflies are here. <laughs> so, this way we should be able to get something cool. 
<laughs> there it is. Wibbly alien time. Right. What was the problem with these nerds? Yeah, it was. There it is, anti-clockwise. Yeah, this is the first place you can see these alien enemies in the game. Well, they're not really aliens, they're... Emissaries. Next week. You better be there, Sherry. Or we'll be coming to get you. All the boys will, will pile into Bart's car and drive over and fetch you if we have to. That's what I wanted, the anti-clockwise rune. Yeah. Yeah, we, well, uh... We need your genius brain for the escape room. Like, what if there's a chess-based puzzle in there? We'll all be, like, we'll all be stumped. this lead to? Is this another shortcut? Is this the shit shortcut that nobody uses? Yeah, this is a shit shortcut. There's an elevator here that takes you like halfway up, well up to halfway through the previous area. There's literally zero point to it. It's a shit cut, yeah. Right, we're gonna head back this way. We gotta get past Piggy and friends. So, grab this. Because there is another piggy over here somewhere. There he is. Can I sneak up on this piggy? Yeah, that's why I've been hoping for a second level of game. Like. I am looking forward to seeing you too. I cannot wait. We will do a book contest. You will lose. Definitely. So there's another piggy here. You spotted us? In the bomb. There's the boss arena. Just see it over there. There's 
we have, if I remember correctly, yeah, there's the summon. That way is to the boss. This way to more loot. Yeah, the, the crawling things. Yeah, the only difference with these ones, these ones are like, they're covered in oil. So if you get hit by a Molotov or something like that, like they, um, these ones just die, but they do it in a big explosion. Anything up here? No, this is a drop down. You have my souls from last time. Give me. way to boss yes yeah I've got 50k souls but I know where the boss is and I don't usually have too much trouble with this boss so I'm just gonna go for it I am gonna try the the sneaky tactic though just to see if it works so we'll get Shaman Bomb Blade. But Shaman Bomb Blade is a melee. So I'm going to have to get in close for it. But I should be able to separate them. I just rush straight in. Got you. There we go. boys the paramount is dead got the two million ones left When there's just one of them left is when it becomes a bit more hectic. So now he does this. Sharp S, I thought it was S set. Hey, 
There we go. First try. <laughs> but yeah, the uh, Shame on Bone Blade makes that opening really easy. You just run up, grab one of them, and let them fight for a little bit. You can keep on using it until there's only one of them left. But they tend to get way more aggressive if you do that for some reason. So first. First, as always. Fuck you, Gavin. Um, so the new runes I got. I got clockwise... Clockwise. So we want to get rid of you. We'll keep beast. And we'll go clockwise. Um, no, I need three chunks to upgrade you, Gorma. Oh well, into levels it goes then. And I'll dump the other weapons in here while I'm here, so I don't accidentally upgrade the wrong thing. Oh yeah, I got more gems, didn't I? Uh, blood gems. Anything better? Maybe a cursed? Oh, you're durability down one, aren't you? Yeah, fuck that one. Oh, it doesn't look like we got anything better. Other than the cursed gem, but I don't want to use the cursed gems. Arcane Haze is for the Chalice Dungeon Shiri. And we got Tempering. Ooh, yes, we will use Tempering. Better than the tier. And then. Yeah, yeah Arcane Haze you need for the later chalice dungeons fire um, give me some more of that paper welcome what is it you very well let me Oh, the, uh, the amulet, yeah. Farewell, good hand, mate. And then follow the Bloodborne rule. Anything left over goes on Blood Vials. There you go. I actually have the maximum number of pebbles you could carry. Right, um, so... We've done... Up to Bergenworth, so... We'll give the giant another go. This giant is a difficult one, but... Might be able to get him. Now I've had couple of upgrades and stuff. I also should equip the special blood. Um, Ariana. So, head straight to boss room. See if we can't get him this time. Or if he's still really tough. So where's his bulge? There. That's the attack I don't like. Because it does a hell of a lot of damage. Yeah, 
There we go. If he catches you right with it, it's a one shot kill. But I didn't manage to pop his blister thing. Which is what I'm trying to do. If I can get that blister popped, he takes more damage. And then he shouldn't be too hard to kill. It's just actually hitting it that's the problem. Otherwise, you do. Chains again. Come on, swing. Keep having a go at it until I actually like break the blister thing. See how tough it is then. That's the hard bit about this one. Like the first giant you fight is dead easy because it's on the back of his leg. So you just need to like beat his knee up. But this one, because it's on like his back. Or at, like the top of his leg. I wonder, can I vertical slash it? I can't remember if there's anything else I found. Like last time I did this giant, it was on my arcane build, so I just battered him with spells. And it was so easy. But unfortunately the spells are rubbish everywhere else. Apart from the DLC, there's a specific boss fight in the DLC. Mode. Spells are really good. Oh, I thought I dodged on that time. hits at most. instantly dropped him to like half health. So 
now he gets more aggressive, but he takes a hell of a lot more damage as well. He's still a little tough. We'll come back to him slightly later. So, head back to the dream. We will go and see Adela because we have a used up more blood, so she owes us some more. So we're in... Edward. We should go and see our friend back at the start as well. So we've not checked up on him for a while. Hello. Oh, hello. You've come for my blood. Oh, good. Come close, dear. I knew you'd be back for more. <laughs> Gimme. Thank you. Right. Talk to the old lady. Now she thinks we're somebody else. Uh, who else do we need to go and visit? So the dude in the very starting area we need to go and see again. That's a pause we should drop it on. ISF go while we're there. I also do I have the church garb now? I'm sure I did. I did. I picked it up, so I need to go and speak to the woman in the uh, prison as well. Um, how are you doing? Have I heard? Mm, afraid I can't say that I have. The locals aren't apt to share any local history. <laughs> I'm afraid I may not be of help for much longer. <coughs> hmm. I know, and... <coughs> yeah, you don't sound very well, buddy. Right. Let's go see it. What's happening to ESF, cuz? Weird that this werewolf never comes back. Up the stairs. Hello there. Oh, hello. You're all right. Very good. He's safe with me now. I put the treatment is going well. Stabilized for the most part. Fascinating. Really. Still see you're holding a gun. Here you are. As promised. 
Oh, thank goodness you came. Be a dear. Find me some more. <laughs> so she gave me beast blood pellets that time. Last time she gave me a blood vial for healing, now she gives me a beast blood pellet. But I know exactly who to go and speak to, to send to her. I can't remember whether it's two or three people we have to send to. I think it's just two. So we will go. Where's the prison? Uh, uh, I thought you can get jail there. Nip downstairs. Um. Ah, the eye biter got me. Got about her. Yeah. Give me that eye back. Can't pick it up because I'm full. Right, back down another level. Down here, the lady I need to speak to. She gone. Oh well, I assume she's disappeared. Oh no, she's still here, she's on the lower level. No worries, Bart. So normally she won't speak to me, but... If I dress up as a priest... Yes, lady, I am priest man. Oh, by your God, the healing church. You've got to save me. Oh, yeah, thank yeah. you, dear saint. I have no words to express my relief. You can take this at least. Thank Surely you. Surely, please, an upstanding member of the church like you. Oh, thank you so much, dear God. Thank you so I was seized on the street by the hulking brute in the cathedral ward and locked up here. There and um, I've Yep. So then the streets are perilous. Perhaps it isn't my place to ask, but do you know somewhere that might take me in? Yeah, there's this friendly oh, clinic. Thank you so much. I pray for success on your hunt, kind hunter. Okay. That's her sent off to the clinic to be experimented on. Now I could just use I just run straight up, can I? Or I should be able to. supposed to. Don't speak to yourself again. 
Hello. Oh, hello. You're all right. Very good. She's safe with me now. I presume you're to thank. The treatment is going well. Stabilized, for the most part. Fascinating, really. Here you are, as promised. Oh, thank goodness you came. Be a dear. Find me some more. I don't know if there's anybody else I can send to her. Right. Let's get our proper claws back on. Bonus. That's more like it. So, onwards to Bergenworth, to everybody's favourite place. So, where's the shadows of Yarn and one gone? Um, with engrave, is that what it's called? I'm guessing. to the proper freaky area. Ah, you got me. And that there is frenzy. Frenzy, is it gonna max out? No, I don't think it is. Yeah, when frenzy maxes out, it just does a chunk of your health off at once. Lantern. So this bit isn't so big. Isn't actually very far until the next boss fight. So we got a summon here. Madara's twin. Ooh. And we got weird fly people. Another one that walked up this way, wasn't there? There you are. Then over here should be a slimy head. Now you grab me. I do. Ew. Let's get away. No, no, he's got me again. Right, I'm dead. As far as I work, no, there's no way to avoid that spell. If it hits you, you just. I was trying to get behind the the tree so he'd hit the tree instead, but wasn't fast enough. Wait for him to come back down again after the jump. What about you? That's 
that's the flies taken care of. Time to go and get the the mind flare. So that's what it's based off. It's an uh, old Dungeons and Dragons monster. Called an Illithy. Or a mind flare. And they literally do what this guy does. Try to drink, drink your brain. Like another room. But I don't think we can go in this door. Nope. So, time to fight the other weird Bergenworth stuff. There you are. taken care of. Oh, it's one of the weird tree things that shoots fireballs. It's the giant vagina tree. I never learnt what the proper name for these things were, so... It's the giant vagina tree. Another P thing. I saw you. Grab some sedatives, which are good against frenzy, and open up the shortcut. Ta da! Now we got inside for the fun bit. I say fun, but I'm probably just going to get my ass kicked. Give me a slug. So this little trap door here doesn't actually open ever. Like it's there, but you can't open it. Can't do anything with it. Up here is the thing that's going to probably kick my ass. Because of that. Stop. Oh, yeah. She usually murders me horribly. That wasn't that, that bad that time. We get the blue elixir. And then we have another useless shortcut. Because it leads out here. So time to explore upstairs. Upstairs we have... Summon... Henrik. Henrik's cool, he's one of the old hunters. Student uniform. We have another summon. Your Damien. Damien of Mansis. Time for a moon. When the red moon hangs low, the line between the man and beast is blurred. 
and when the great ones descend, a womb will be blessed with child. Okay. It's not a creepy prophecy at all. But there is stuff up here we want. Up here we have key. Key to the Lunarium, which is where we want to go. And there are. Is there a fly van in here? I'm sure I can hear one. Yes, there is. What's in this chest? Is this anything cool? You are. Empty Phantasm Shell, which is a spell. That one, if I remember right, just like buffs your weapon with arcane damage. So, time for another boss. Open the door. What do you want? So he's pointing us that way. This dude is Master Willem. He's like the headmaster of this Bergenworth place, but now he's just crippled and blind. And also dead. Mainly because I wanted that. So. It's alright, he's a bad guy anyway. Half the reason things are fucked up around here are his fault. So this time we want bolt paper, because this is the first boss electricity works really well against. And it's really weird. The only clue you get is that light down there, which if you walk off... Whoosh. Now the first thing to notice about this boss is it's not hostile. To try and talk to us a bit. Can emote at him and everything. But yeah. The kin bosses like this. Not hostile at all when you first come across them. The fight only starts when you start. It. to run. You're over there. And yeah, this is Rom the Vacuous Spider. Although Rom isn't really a spider, got way too many legs. I'm gonna try and do this the quick way. May not work. teleports again. Where are you at, Rom? There. You can't stop him from teleporting, but I never managed to get too hard. There we go. Quick method done. Now it's raining blood. And there's the creepy lady. Let's go say hello. That there is Lady Yarnum. And now is when the creepy crying begins. So 
So yeah, that's Lady Arnhem. That's who the city is named after. That the entire city. And she has a lot of blood down her front because she got impregnated by one of those creepy weird old gods. It's not something you want to happen to you at all, ever. But now I wake up in Cathedral Ward. And we can now see this guy. Look at how pretty he is. But now everything is different. If I go back up this way, I think the enemies out here are still the same. But if I just run forwards, does he take a swipe? He does. We are now in Yaharbu, the unseen village. And you can now see those creepy things on all the buildings. Fun thing is, they were always there. If you get enough insights before doing that boss, you can see those things straight away. Another one over there. And they're called... Amygdala? Or amygdala, however you want to say it. I usually say amygdala because it's like named after a part of the brain that it looks vaguely like. Yeah, there's one there. One there. One back that way a bit. First, let's go and spend our stuff. There. Fuck you, Gavin. Would I have had enough? 29, 30. Yeah, so I could have got enough insight to be able to see those things before doing the boss. Uh, nothing else special available yet. Okay, we got the is held six, seven in the bank, stored one. So there. Grab a level or two if we can. Welcome. What is it? Very well. Let yeah, two. And then, as is the rule, spend the rest on both sides. Yeah, I think I'll go back to the giant once I've got a couple more weapon upgrades. So now I've done the. Now I've done ROM. I should go back to the cathedral. See how Ariana is doing. Because I bet it's not good. Where? It's part of the reason I want a PS5 upgrade for this game as well. Quicker loading screens and stuff. There she is. What's up? Oh, there you are. For 
forgive me. I'm a bit out of sorts. So, no blood today, I'm afraid. She's not well. How about you? What do you think? There ain't a peak to be heard. Not in the old town. I doubt there's any more out there. God save us. Yarnum's done for. <laughs> there ain't no more Sion. Right. So that's you, Don. See what the old lady says this time. She thought we were a kid last time. Oh. Welcome home, dear. What's wrong? Anything you'd like to tell me? This will help you forget. What's she got? Forget your troubles. You peddling <laughs> drugs? <Your> cares. <laughs> she is. She's dealing cat. That's what she's doing. Giving us forest tranquilizers, giving us sedatives. Um. Oh no, I didn't mean to leave then. There was something else to do here. E. Head back to Cathedral Ward. Well, before I do, I'm going to head to the loo, so I will be right back. Brick. Yeah, I needed to go back to Cathedral Ward because I forgot some. <clears throat> Yawn. So, liquid medicine, sedatives. You are still not well. Here. I'll need to 
run up to the cathedral myself and see if it's there. I hope it is. Mr. Scytheman. Past the giant. Yeah, she's there. Hello. No, I'm going to do it. Although this is probably one of the hardest fights at this point in the game. Also, look at all this blood. From her and whatever she was fighting. So. There he is. So this is possibly the hardest fight at this point in the game. That's the ghost step. I'm about two thirds of the way through. Right, if I can leave him on this, he'll kill himself. No, I'll turn your weapon back. So, yeah, he's using the ghost step. Come on, transform your weapon again. That's what we want. Oh, you're sneaky. Constantly using the ghost step. And his gun does way more damage than mine. Leave your sword open. Right, he's transformed back again. This is the easiest way to kill this guy, by the way, just to lame him out. If you actually fight him, he does a shit ton of damage. Like that. And he's got very big combos. He can take you from 100 to 0 if you get caught in one combo. Also, yeah, his weapon does bleed. Come on. Come on, we want you in killer mode. Four bullets left. I get him. Got ya. Thank you. Yeah, I killed him. Don't you ever listen to your elders. No matter. 
You did save my life. I don't seem to be apt for this life anymore. My glory days were long ago now. Hmm. I know. Here. For you. Yay! This too is Hunter's work. But it bears no honor. A burden you may choose to carry. The decision is yours alone. Oh. My eyes grow heavy. Let me rest a while. I'll be fine. Just wait. So. She gave me the Crow Hunter badge. She gives me access to her gear. And there's actually some really cool stuff. Like her weapon is crazy good as well. So we head back to the dream. We can see what we've unlocked. We head over here. We can now get Blade of Mercy, which is her weapon. It's 40k, but it's paired swords that go faster the more you hit with. So what you do is you get those, and you get as much stamina as you can, so you can just keep hitting and hitting and hitting and hitting. And it just hits faster and faster and faster. Also get the repeating pistol, which I'm not going to use. And you get her clothes as well. You can get the beaky mask and the crow cloak and everything. But I wanted that just because I wanted the uh, Blade of Mercy available later on. Because I wanted a new game plus with this on Blades of Mercy. For keep. Let's see what those runes were. So we got Blood Rapture, Visceral Attacks Restore HP. We got Hunter. Yeah, we'll take Hunter. Faster stamina recovery is good with me. And no change in these. Right, um, where else were we going to go? It was... Yeah, it's time to do ESF because I think so. We're going to go to Bidden Woods. I'm going to do a mad dash to try and get to the bit that I need to be at. Killed it first try, Dave. I did the quick method where you just ignore the spiders and pop the uh, spark paper. I took out the um, the blue crow as well. So you know the Eileen the crow. Like the hunter woman you meet with the, the beak mask. I went into the end of our quest line and beat the guy as that as well. I did him first try as well, even though it's really difficult. Although I lamed it out most of it because he uses the Rakuyo, he uses the um, Blood Sword, and in the transformed version, hurts him. So I kept getting him to transform it and then backing away while it did a load of damage. And we are sneaking back through Forbidden Woods. So... I can go and visit Eosefka's clinic through the back way. Now... No, you're just a monster now. 
doggos. Ow. And we're going this way. Yeah, you can cheese him out completely. But there's a way of moving where if you run up to him and then go all the way down the stairs and stop at a specific point, he bugs out and just stands still in the transformed state. Doesn't do anything at all. And you can just stand there and wail on him while he's also bleeding out from his Rikuyo damaging him. But I did fight him properly. I went and got the parries on him. Right. Ah, oh, we're here. This area is all poison. Like, literally. You step in here, poison. So, get me antidote equipped. And then we have these like that. things all over this area as well. Stop that. Get away. loot. Where's the way up? Is it over here? There. Well, there's this one sat down looking sad. somewhere. Well, he just... I heard you jump at me. Where is it? There's like a tunnel around here somewhere that's got loot in it. Ah, oh, is it here? Yeah, it is. Here, because all of these are in it. We got Arcane Blood Gemstone. Very good for Arcane Builds, not good for much else. So, that's everything. Poison gemstone. And up we go. This is your snake eater moment, Dave. Longest ladder in the game. Audio also bulks out in this one room for no reason. Yeah, it's a long ass ladder sequence. 
And then you get another one, which isn't quite as long, but... Remove. So now we're back to... The beginning of the game. This is that one gate we couldn't get through right at the start. And if I run out here... Ta-da! So we're going this way. Through this already open gate. Yeah, you can get through this uh, gate right at the start. Like the werewolf that chases you out here. You can get it to bug you through this gate. I can never get it to work, but apparently it's possible. So I've seen a couple of speedrunners do it. But now we go this way. We got down here. Dead horse. Brain eater. Or an illithid, or whatever you want to call it. Is he just going to rush us? Guys? Oh, you got the grab on. Oh, <laughs> here is the up to the roof and everybody's favorites creepy birds I've done this right. Turn the lantern on first. Alien! I think I've done this right. So if I kill you, you drop writhe. And then if I kill you, Beast. Yeah, because that this one was the beast man that we saw, the murderer. And the one down there was the nun that I sent here. And now we can just loot this place. To get the communion rune. waiting for us. I think I've done it right. Yeah, I have. There she is. You done messed up, haven't you? So, no, you're going to die. 
and we get another umbilical cord. That's two out of the three that we need. And we're guaranteed a third by the end of the game. So we're sorted for the the big bad ending that I wanted. So now we can just go this way and loot more stuff. I say loot more stuff. There's another alien. Right, that's what it is. There's one already here. I thought I needed to find a third person, but I don't. There's just one automatically here. And we get the Kanehurst summons to go to Kanehurst. Which is a cool place. So. I think we'll make our way to the opening of Kanehurst. And then I'll finish there. Because that'll be a decent chunk of process, progress then. So I've not picked up anything for any upgrades. Welcome Let's home. Grab a level. Very well, let you to thirty-five. Farewell. And then spend the rest on vials and bullets. So you can see, because I've been spending all my spare blood on vials and bullets i've now got 146 vials stashed away and 130 bullets i'll have plenty and so we what are the ones i picked up odin writhe visceral attacks from restore bullets and yeah i just got the weaker version of blood rapture Cool. Let's make our way to Kanehurst. So I need to go to... Is it Hemwick Charnel Lane it's called? Or can I just pop in straight to the witches? Cat. Sneak up behind these witches. Oh, we should be able to just head. Down and around the corner. And catch a lift straight to Gainhurst. here it was now we get the cool cutscene get the fun boss to Kanehurst Get in. Get to properly show off my armor as well.
Yay! Everybody's favourite castle. You also get to see the path that we just took. We literally flew here. Like this is a broken bridge and everything. We've literally just flown here. So let's go and grab ourselves a lantern. You'll let me in, I've got an invite. Hurst Castle. So we are at Kanehurst. We shall finish there for today. That's a decent bit of progress. So I'll show you what my mum brought me as well. My mum brought me a tiny cake. Look. My mum decorated a tiny cake. That's us done for now though. I'm gonna go in search of food. Oh. Is there anybody on to raid? Who is around? Or has anybody got any suggestions? Boop boop boop. Red Vicky. Playing farming simulator. There. So oh, y'all, no thank you for uh dropping by and watching and sticking around. Hope you've had a good birthday, but I'll be back again. I don't know if I'm gonna stream next week. I might do. I will decide later on. But yeah, I will see you next time. Have fun, everybody. Can't wait to see you at TwitchCon. And I will see you on Saturday, Dave. Bye, everybody.